Welcome to Daily Success, where each day we discuss ideas, insights, and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself and to not only survive but thrive in the modern world. Hello, everyone. This is Parth, and welcome to the Finance Friday episode, where we discuss ideas and strategies on how to develop a positive money mindset and build extraordinary wealth. A quick money experiment. Here's a quick money experiment for you. Take a one hundred dollar bill or a significant currency note and place it on a table in front of you, and then keep your debit or credit card beside it. Now close your eyes and imagine going out to purchase an item that you need. Visualize engaging in the transaction and paying cash for it. After that, repeat the same exercise. But this time, pay for it via your debit or credit card. Now open your eyes and look at the bill and your debit or credit card. Chances are you will find yourself developing an attachment towards your one hundred dollar bill and Benjamin Franklin on it, while no significant feelings will arise when you look at your plastic card. The reason is that we feel a sense of loss when we pay by cash. In the above case, that one hundred dollar bill is never coming back to us. And Uncle Ben is gone forever, but with the card, this is not the case. That card ain't going anywhere. We know it will come back to us again in the comfort of its home, our wallet. Paying by cash is a painful experience because we feel the loss of our money. But with the plastic cards, whether it be a credit or debit card, a Starbucks rewards card, or any other incarnation of it, the fact that we are losing money never registers in our brain. In short, plastic cards comfort us as they fuel our false illusion that we have enough money for our purchases, even when we don't. Having known this truth, it's entirely your choice now. Do you want to live under an illusion and risk overspending your funds, or keep Uncle Ben safe with you and only let go of him when the need is there? Formal education is not enough. To become a millionaire, you need to become a lifelong learner. If you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to read or listen to my book Daily Wealth, book one of the Daily Learner series. This book is an attempt to distill the life-changing ideas from the best resources on finances, money management, and investing in clear and concise daily meditations. In this book, the knowledge and wisdom of renowned authors and thought leaders such as Napoleon Hill, Wallace D. Wattles, Thomas J. Stanley, Dave Ramsey, Tony Robbins, T. Harv Eker, David Bach, and Robert Kiyosaki has been distilled in a form that is easy to digest and consume, even if you are not a reader. The condensed, timeless knowledge in these meditations. Will not only elevate your money game to the next level, but also guide you in navigating through the complexities that come with the financial landscape in the modern world, and help you in your quest to living a prosperous and abundant life. You can get a copy of Daily Wealth in ebook, paperback, and audiobook formats. I'll add links to all of them in the show notes. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful weekend. I hope today's episode added incredible value to you. For more helpful resources on personal development, philosophy, and holistic success, come visit my website parthsahani.com. I wish you an amazing day.